Hey guys, glad that we meet again after the happy sweepstake which is over last week. Our previous video was about a new Windows tablet and this time we're gonna go back to see what's new in the Chinese Android tablet universe. So Intel seems quite ambitious in the affordable Android tablet market segment for the 2014 and just so a couple of months ago it barked out its newly released quad-core processor, the Z3735E. This one is more of an entry-level quad-core with Intel HD graphic unit. But nonetheless, it perfectly owned other chipsets like MediaTek, Rock Chip, or all winner in 3D graphic performance. So for me, Intel is all about 3D pwnage when it comes to affordable Android devices. Why so? For starter, it easily pwned other entry-level processors in 3D graphic benchmarks such as 3D Mark and Epic Citadel. In 3D gaming, this baby runs like a rocket, lagging is almost imperceptible, plus you have better details in textures and lights. And you just can't see MediaTek doing the job with such grace, much less all winner and rock chip. So now that I got your attention, and this time I'm going to talk about this new release from Honda, which comes with an Intel Z3735 E processor, the uh, Honda 819i. Awkward name to pronounce for a tablet, but nonetheless, not bad as an affordable model that comes with great 3D graphic capabilities. So let's take a look. So what can I say about this one? Nah, not so much about the look, because you know, most Chinese Android device manufacturers are still living in the shadow of Apple. You see the irony here? But the workmanship is not bad at all, regardless of its boring look. I can't seem to find any crack on this one, honestly. And let's come to some of the negative points for this design. For me, the bottoms are tilted a little bit too far away from the edge, making it not so accessible. And talking about these extension ports, I don't think they should label out some of the ports while leaving some of you guessing what the others might be. Not a big deal, but in my opinion, this is sloppy finish. Being 8 inches, it seems slimmer than many other 8 inches tablet that were previously presented in the market thanks to its 16 by 10 ratio. Yet the resolution is somewhat disappointing since it only has 1280 by 800. Put this on an 8 inches screen, the pixel density is obviously weaker than a Nexus 7. But what can I say? Price is price, yo. If the resolution were to go up a couple of notches, so would the price. And I think Honda has found a reasonable balance between price and quality on this one. As mentioned earlier in this video, Intel tablets is all about 3D graphic pwnage to me. So let's just go into some of its details. In 3D Mark, its performance is just abusive. For iStorm HD, the score maxed out. In the Extreme Edition, I can still have reasonably high frame rate. In Need for Speed Most Wanted, the frame rate is just mad when compared to that on a MTK chipset. All this can surely get MediaTek and other entry-level chipset providers sweating like hell. So enough with the major selling points, it's time for some bashing and ranting. First off, I think there were just way too many Chinese Android applications pre-installed on this tablet. Not sure if it only happens to this particular engineering sample, but anyway, I don't think overseas clients will find them useful. The camera is mostly basic stuff, and of course it's not the selling point of this product, but at the very least I expect it to have less pixelated pictures since it's 500 megapixel. And that is what this tablet failed to deliver. Battery consumption is something that I found it hard to understand. Normally, tablets with Intel chipsets are quite a champion in comparison to other entry-level chipsets in terms of battery life. But the battery level of this engineering sample dropped faster than I thought, and that is when the tablet has been idle for 80% of its time on battery. Let's hope it doesn't happen with the retail samples. GPS is non-existent. I can't seem to find any access to it in the OS and the GPS text simply told me to take a hike when I tried to run the test on it. 
Before I finish, I would like to go over the minor pros. For its size, I found it quite durable. It's really compact for an 8 inches tablet. The 16 by 10 ratio can come in really handy when you are on the go. Nice workmanship, even though they never bother coming up with some authentic design on their own. I have to admit that they didn't underdo the copy. So this concludes our short video presentation and I hope you like it. At the same time, let's just hope there will be more and more affordable Android tablet that comes with Intel chipset available on the market in the near future. Simply because its 3D ponage is just freaking awesome.